we're going to begin with a little overview of Native American literature from our particular era, which is up to 1850. Actually, we're going to scoot just a little bit if we need to. And what I want you to do is start by going to a database of early Native American literature. Let's go there together. Isn't this a beautiful database? And as I scroll through here, I'm just going to let my mouse do the walking. And I'm going to scan through here until I see something that's interesting to me that I would like to read more about. This one sounds kind of interesting. I might want to explore that. This one sounds very interesting. So I want to read what they wrote and I'm going to have to find what it is that they wrote. I like, I want to hear what she has to say. Okay, so she wrote this and I'm going to go to Google and I typed in those magical words free PDF. Whenever the results show up, there are obviously going to be a few citations that come up that are want me to buy the book. I don't want to buy the book, so I'm not going to go to Amazon. But usually an EDU site will be a place where we can find uh, something. Guggenheim is another wonderful free service, so we kind of get used to that. But let's go and check out this one. Just as I suggested, this has brought up a lovely copy of that particular story. Now, do I need to read the entire thing? No, but I do want you to read enough so that you get a feel for where that person was in this world. Can you imagine being a Native American and sitting down to write a story? Isn't that incredible? I think it is, and you probably do too if you think about it long enough. So I want you to read enough to get the flavor of that particular story, whichever one you've chosen from that website, from that database. Now, what I want you to do is go up here. We're going to copy this PDF URL. We're going to go over to EasyBib. And we already know about EasyBib. And I've created a project called Native American Literature. You can find all this in the EasyBib tutorials. I'm going to create a new citation because I found this I'm going to search, let it find it, and whenever it does, golly it didn't find much of anything did it? Well I'm kind of glad it didn't find it so I can show you how to create a citation from scratch when, when EasyBib can't find it. So I copy down the title, I'm coming back over here to EasyBib, and all of these boxes want me to fill in. Okay. And had the URL. Whoops. Go back and get the URL. Okay, so since EasyBib didn't find this one, normally it does. I went ahead and just filled in those little boxes. And instead of having it in all caps, which of course we don't want to do in a bibliography, I did that. I put in the, the URL and now I'm going to cite it and it creates the citation for me. Now in my little document that I'm going to submit, I'm going to copy this and when I complete the assignment, I'm going to paste that work cited in so that I can show where I found the information. Now, I'm going to read as much of this as I like. If I get interested, I'm going to read more. If I'm not interested, then I'm going to read at least enough that I get a feel and flavor of what this particular woman wanted to say. And that means that I'm going to read probably about 10 pages. And if I get excited, I can read more. But I want you to be, and again, this is all on your honor. 
If you tell me you read pa 10 pages, I'm going to believe that you did. After I get a feel for this, then I will go to the assignment. I will click Submit here. I will go ahead and paste in that citation that I got from EasyBib that I created right here. And then I'm going to write freehand what I thought about that writing. Now I still want to include my name, course, assignment, date, and the word count, but I want to go ahead and write what I felt when I read some of these words. And I want you to be honest. If you can relate to a woman who is a Native American living in a world that had been suddenly turned upside down and then had the forthright to be able to, to create a novel about a character, I find that to be absolutely delightful and phenomenal. And how do you relate to that? Yes, I do want you to write formal sentences. You're not writing this like you would write a text to a friend. You're writing this like a document that you're going to submit. So you will have your words indented, double-spaced, and at the end of what you have to say will be your citation so that you will show me where you found that piece of literature. In this database, there is so much to explore, to find something that interests you, and to research where you can find that document. You saw me use Google resources and look for a free PDF. You can also contact the librarian, though in a fast course, I don't want you to spend a lot of time trying to locate a piece of literature, it would be just as easy to go back and find something that you could locate. If you find a particular writer, you can Google that. But this assignment should take around two hours from start to finish, and that way you can get this moved on to the next assignment. I want you to enjoy Native American literature and have some respect for the folks who came before us. That concludes the tutorial for this Early Native American Assignment.